Hello, it's Deborah from Attic Lane, and in this video I want to show you how I've used some new releases from a company called Cardio Cards, and I will provide links below this video to their online shop where you can find some inspiration, and I'll provide links to all of the stamp sets that I'm using today. These four cards that I have in front of me are to give you some ideas of the versatility of the stamps that are produced by this company. I absolutely love them. There are three little cards here, and these are three inches square, and this card is a little larger, and it is just under five and a half inches square. And I wanted to do the two different sizes to show you that um, you can make lovely little miniature cards just using a few of the elements from the stamp sets, or you can build up your own quite large scenes in bigger cards, and it's quite fun to have the the space to, to be able to hang more little things on your washing line and to put in more foreground and just play around with the scenic elements of the cards. I'm going to show you the stamp sets that I used. These two are older sets. This one is called Mini Tall Trees and as you can see it has a variety of trees and they were used to create these background details on uh, these two cards. This was stamped in Smoky Grey Versa Fine Ink and this one was stamped in Versafine Onyx Black ink. And in both of these I use second generation stamping, which means that you ink up your stamp, you stamp it on your card, and then you stamp it again two or three times, and it gives you this lovely faded look, so it looks as if uh, uh, it makes the image look a little bit thicker and denser. The other one that I used that is not from the new release is this one called Winter Stroll, and I used the uh, tiny little boots here to add some detail onto my larger card. So those are two older sets and I'll provide links to both of those for you below the video. And then the new releases um, are just lovely. This is called Spring Breeze and this has got two quite tall trees and what's great is that these trees are mirror images so you can, you can make them do that and I'll show you what I mean in this card. Um, so uh, I've stamped one tree going this way and one tree going this way and it means that you get a lovely shape to your cards. This has also got some extra elements such as the clouds in the shape of hearts, which is a, a nice touch. There are two leaves, there's a large and a small leaf, and then there's a selection of flowers, and there's a large and a small bird, and even a tiny little birdhouse. It's a beautiful stamp, and even, uh, even just with this one set you could do quite a lot. The other two that I want to show you are what are at the root of this, uh, uh, this little collection of cards. So this one is called Baby Boy Wash Line and this one is called Baby Girl Wash Line. These are the new stamp sets and there are little tiny socks, there's a little peg for hanging out your washing on the line, this is where these little pegs were used, and then there's a selection of little clothes that would be worn by a baby boy and a tiny teddy bear. Uh, this is a teddy bear here and this stamp set, the Baby Girl Wash Line, is all things that might be worn by a baby girl and there is a tiny little bunny and the bunny is used on this miniature card here. The socks I've used on a couple of the cards as well. So I'm going to show you how I made this card but I'm going to do a slightly different colour range so I'm going to colour this up as if it was going to be for a baby girl because the techniques that I use in this card will apply to the other cards as well. So it's exactly the same techniques, I've just mixed it up a little bit. I've got my desk set up and ready because what I want to do is show you the techniques at the beginning of this card and I want to show you that without editing, without interrupting the flow. So what I'll do is I'll talk you through the first little um, techniques to begin with and then I'll go through the card and I may speed the video up depending on how long it takes me but if I'm just stamping uh, around the outside of the trees just to add some leaves. I'll speed that little section up for you. But essentially I want us to try and uh, do this card together so you can see exactly what I'm doing. The first thing I'm going to do is cut a wobbly line from a piece of paper because that's going to be my hill. To colour a hill, you cut out a wobbly line, as we've just done, and then you position it on your card. We're going to colour below this piece of blue waste card. The colour that I've got for that is Versacolor Bamboo. It's one that I use an awful lot. And I've got a dry baby wipe, and this is how we're going to apply the ink. 
take a dab on your dry baby wipe and then just knock off the excess so that you don't get blobs of unnecessary or unwanted colour. You want a nice smooth colour and this is the easiest way to achieve it. You could use a blending tool if you like but the lady who came up with this idea and this technique and these stamps uh, is a lady called Wendy Gage and this is how she does things and I like her results so this is how I do things as well. I'm holding the piece of blue paper in position and I'm just layering up the colour I'm putting the emphasis at the point closest to the blue card, so the top of the hill, because then that looks as if everything below it fades nicely away. And when I remove the sheet, we've got a nice hill. We're going to put in another hill. I'm using the same scrap of paper. I'm using it a little bit further along, probably about there, that will give me nice variety. And I'm doing the same technique again, I'm knocking off the excess ink before I let it near my card. I'm using my blue card, my blue waste paper, to take that lobby ink. I'm applying a layer very, very lightly with the emphasis closest to the top of the hill so that when I pull the paper away you'll see there's a distinction between my new hill and my first hill. There we go, two lovely hills. Don't discard your piece of blue waste paper, or my piece of blue waste paper, yours could be any colour you like, because I'm going to use it as a mask. So when I need to, I'm going to uh, use it just to colour off, cover off bits of my card that where I don't want excess ink. The next stage is to get my spring breeze tree ready. So this is going to go on this side of the card and then this tree will go on this side of the card and that's, that's what I like about Cardio card stamps is that they think about this, they think about having mirror images so it's not just, you don't just get one tree and that's the only way that you can use it, you have two. The colour that I'm going to use for my tree is potting soil, it's archival ink, and I could use black, I could use grey, either of those would, would give you a lovely effect, but I quite like the brown, I think it's softer. I'm going to use my mask, if I can get it the right way round, because I don't want my tree to go into my my little hill. Once I have my first tree impression, I'm going to remove this and add a second tree impression and it will be slightly more faded than the first but it will make the tree look as if there's more going on. It will give it more density. I think that's a lovely, lovely image. And I'm going to add a tiny little bit in the top. You just see a faint image of another branch. I'm going to clean this down and then I'm going to switch it for my other tree. this other tree 
is going to go on the other side of my card and again I'm going to use my piece of waste paper to mask off my hill so that my tree doesn't spoil it. I'm going to use my potting soil archival ink again and this time I want the tree to be quite a long way off the card. I just want that little arc at the top. I'll add some extra little branches down here for interest. So that's given me a nice shape on my card to work within. Next thing I want to add are the booties. So in the original card I used uh, some nice blue for these little booties and because this is a girls card we're going to use pink and I'm going to put this to one side, the potting soil ink, because I've finished with that now. So my booties are going to sit on the top of my hill and I'm going to use a combination of pink and peony. The booties are from this collection, which is called Winter Stroll. I'm going to use one of my little uh, acrylic pegs. So to begin with, I'm going to add a layer of pink. But if I just ink that up, I'll show you, that would be quite strong. If I just did that, it's a strong pink and it's also a little bit flat, a little bit single dimension. So to add interest, I'm going to go around the outside of my boots with a darker shade. I may go around the top a little bit as well. And I will show you that before we stamp it on the card. It just gives it a little bit more interest. I'm not too worried about contamination with these little ink pads. They're tiny little cubes. They're, they're ever so cheap. So when I do mess one up, um, I can I wipe the, uh, the contamination off the top and it's usually good to go again for another few, uh, few sessions. So my little booties, excuse my head, I'm gonna go right here. I've masked off my hill because I don't want them to look as if they're suspended on the hill. So this way, they look as if they're just sitting, just tucked a little bit behind the hill. A hint of a booty. And this time I will clean my stamp. And we finish with the booties. And the next thing that I want to add are little pieces of grass behind my booties. That will help establish them in this little landscape setting that we're doing for them. So I've put my mask back in place again. And I'm going to use blades of grass. I'm going to ink those up using bamboo and green tea. And they came from the winter stroll set. There is a tall uh, set of grasses and then two smaller ones. Again, mirror images. I'm going to put a little green tea just on the base of this and I'm going to show you, if I can find my piece of card again, the effect that that has. It just smudges the colour around and makes it look a little bit more natural because again if I just did one colour, if I just did green tea, it would look very flat. I usually start with the lighter colour and then add the darker colour. And I don't want this to go on the booties. I want it to just go either side of the booties and I don't want it to go behind, on top of my hill. I want it to sit behind my hill. I want some to go behind the back of the boots so I can mask those off as well, I can hide those and I'm going to make this 
little bit fainter. And I can add in this little gap. I have a gap here and I can fill that with my smaller grass. I'm going to just do that one in the green tea colour to fill in this section. Now I'm going to use some bamboo and then go back to the green tea. So you see how you can mix this up. There's a little bit there. And I can use the smaller grasses to fill in the gaps. And each time I'm moving my scrap piece of paper to mask off so that I don't make it look as if um, the boots have got the grass inside them. So that's my little uh, leafy cluster where the boots are and I'm going to do some little grasses in the bottom of my seam as well. I'm going to um, take off any excess around the outside of this just in case I accidentally uh, let the edge of my acrylic block onto my card. And we do the same here as we did before. This time I'm going to do a little bit of second generation stamping as well so you can see they're a little bit fainter. But it looks as if there's grass behind that little hillock as well. We're going to add some into here too. And I'm going to bring in my smaller bits of grass. Finally, I can add this to the bottom of my card. The rest of the card now is about using those same techniques to complete the design. So that means using a mixture of masking and using different colours of ink pads so you have the, uh, the, the greater depth of colour. And I'm going to recreate the little string just with uh, a pen and I use a black pigment liner, it's a 0 0.05, just a black pen, uh, and I just draw that line in. So I'm going to stop talking, I'm going to show you how to complete the card, and I will uh, give you some music as well to keep you company.
that then is our finished card. I hope that you found some of those techniques interesting. Maybe you can give those a go yourself. In comparison with the male version of the card, that's how it turned out. A little bit different, but not too, too, too different. And these are the tiny little cards. The technique for adding the trees behind the hills is exactly the same as we used for adding the blades of grass. I'm going to leave you with a close-up of all of today's cards and a little music and I hope you will join me again soon.